Hey guys, it's me Maxi Rainbow and I am back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Junior Eurovision 2022. In this video I'm going to be reacting to Albania's entry called Paquis Diel, A Bit of Sunlight by Caitlin um, Jata. I'm not really quite sure and I hope I don't piss off the Albanians because they're already mad at me. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to get into this um, reaction. I'm not typically the biggest Albanian fan in Junior Eurovision, um, but I think they had a really good entry last year. Uh, I just have to see. Uh, we gotta see what we're doing. I want a bop from Albania. Like, I'm gonna be honest, the last time I was excited about Albania was Effigiki. Like, Monson un Barbie, Moscatu and Mosette. That's what I want. I want a bop. I want a bop from Albania. I want Barbie again. Let's send her back. You know, like, that's what I want. That was the last time I was excited about Albania. So I hope they send a bop. I don't know. We shall see. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. You know, it's also crazy. Okay, it's so stupid, but like when I was getting ready <laughs> um, today, I was thinking like I put on this wig and this is the first time I've worn this wig since I wore it for the turquoise carpet for Eurovision. Um, this year and I was just thinking like every time I like put on an article of clothing especially like the first time I'm wearing it since coming back from Italy I'm like oh my god like I, I wore this wig in Turin like oh my god Monica Lou like touched this wig like Monica Lou saw me in this wig like that's crazy Chanel saw me in this wig that's so weird to think like I can't believe like I, I said it in my um like the last time I filmed every time like now when I watch Eurovision it's just so wild it's like never in my life I would have expected to have actually been to a Eurovision and definitely never would I have ever thought I would have gotten to experience it the way that I did being able to go to the events and stuff it's just truly like a dream come true um so I don't know but yeah Anyways, let's get into reacting. Never close our eyes with diamonds in the sky. Hey! Ooh. Okay, cute little intro. Could be promising. Oh. Okay, maybe we're not getting a bop. I like her hair. I like the backdrop with all the leaves and stuff. Very cute. Okay. She has a very powerful voice. It's very light, very, you know, pretty ballad vibes. Okay. You know, right now it's very nice. It's not interesting, really frankly um but it's very nice she sounds good you know there's not much to go off of with this there's no real staging i mean there's the leaves and stuff but i think that's just the the stage in general probably um but she has a very powerful voice boom doom Boom. I think there needs to be something done with this instrumental and it could be a, a hit because she has the voice. It seems like she has the talent for it. Um, she just needs that like music in the background to really be epic. But if there's one thing Albanians are going to do, they're going to sing. Now granted, she just went, Whoa. you know, she just kind of cut herself off right there. But but if there's one thing Albanians know how to do, it's sing. Albanian women, they can fucking sing. 
And the kids can too, apparently. I don't know. It's not very interesting. And I don't really know what she's singing about because of course, uh, you know, the language barrier, but the issue is it didn't really make me feel anything either. You know what I mean? Like that's what, that's the objective that you have to accomplish whenever you are singing in a different language. I never want to come across like I'm telling people like, you need to speak English or else nobody's going to understand you because that's not what I'm trying to say because you know, I, I think if you watch my channel enough, you know that that's not really an issue, but the issue is it is the international singing competition and nobody except for Albanians of course are going to understand the message so that's not a problem if you're capable of telling the message in other ways whether that be visuals or your emotion all you have to do is emote a certain way and people will get what you're trying to say um, and of course that comes along with experience especially as a performer um, she's a child she is a child so, you know, but that's what you gotta do. So I just hope that they, you know, come up with some really cool staging, which like last year they really murdered it with the staging. So I have hope for Albania. They, re they really need to revamp the instrumental, um, but I, I feel like they will. So, you know, it's like, we'll see. Um, I didn't hate that. That's not my favorite. Um, it's prob it's very middle of the road for me right m now. Middle, lower, you know, but not bad at all. It's you know what's killing me is goddamn. Ukraine had some good options in their national selection, and the fact that Ukraine's probably my last place right now. But had they sent pretty much anything else in their national selection, I would have been like Ukraine's winning. Period. That's really sad. We could have had some really exciting stuff with Ukraine. I'm um, just thinking about that right now. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Albania's entry for Junior Eurovision 2022. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you think about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. As well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at so you don't miss out on any post polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.